You know those moments when you first see something you've never quite seen before? The feelings of excitement, curiosity, and quite honestly, bewilderment take over. Well, if you haven't seen the ceramic work of Wayne Higby before, get ready. This is the sort of work that expands horizons and makes you question what's possible in the world of ceramics. My name is Wayne Higby. I'm a ceramic artist, and I'm the director and chief curator of the Alfred Ceramic Art Museum in Alfred, New York, which isn't too far from here. Well, we're sitting here in uh, the Memorial Art Gallery, and um, they have mounted a retrospective exhibition of my work, which covers, uh, I think, the first pieces are from about 1969, and then the arc of my career is kind of displayed in work that I've done over a period of time, up until I think the last pieces are 2014. The West and the Southwest has played a big role uh, in terms of the idea of light, the idea of vista. Um, there's very little humidity and you can see forever. The title of the exhibition is Infinite Place. And if we look at that title, it's in a nutshell, it's something very particular about my practice and about the work that you see when you come to the exhibition. But looking at the word infinite, it's a word that means limitless or endless forever. And place is kind of a site. So the two of those things kind of, it's a poetic way of saying that you will see sculpture, objects, drawings. They are kind of a place, but they conceptualize and probe and try to reveal something that's rather infinite as a a working idea that's been part of what I've been doing ever since I began working as an artist. But when I found clay, which is, you know, a fundamental ingredient of ceramic, it was grabbing that lump of wet material, pushing your thumb into it, and it says, hello, Wayne. Immediately your relationship and your thumbprint and there's this contact and the dialogue begins. The materials start talking back and you begin to reify yourself through that process. You say, oh, if I touch it four times then it'll say four different things. Or if I, um, So the material connection for the artist, certainly for me, was a way to begin to navigate a relationship with who am I in this broader spectrum of the universe. So, you know, I make the work to figure out all these things I'm talking about. Um, and everything I know or can say about the work is something that's the result of having done the work. You know, it's not something I could like conjure and make up ahead of time and then make the work to fit. It's all stuff that I have discovered, you know, because those energies, those thoughts, those feelings are inside and you're just moving, trying to follow the thumbprint in the clay, trying to follow what begins to happen. And, you know, that has to be related to your own kind of psychic identity and how you're trying to sort of form it. And then you step back something, oh, what did I make? What is that? I think part of my desire in the work is to slow things down a little bit and just exhale, breathe a little bit, take a moment. And if my work engenders that, then for you know, the viewer, then that's, that's great. It certainly is something that I'm trying to do for myself in, in the work. Um, quiet coherence. You know, there's a, I think there's a silence 
in the work. Man, if in today's world you could come to the Memorial Art Gallery and just have a little moment <laughs> of quiet coherence, you know, my job is done. Really amazing work, Wayne Higby's show Infinite Place is still up in the Memorial Art Gallery until March 29th. You can get more information at mag.rochester.edu.